what up you guys, it's Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dash. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Dark Glasses, also known as Akieli Neri. I'm going to try not to spoil anything in this video, but um, I'll probably talk a little bit about the plot. So I finally got a chance to watch uh, Dario Argento's new film. The way I had to watch it was pretty ridiculous. So my DVD didn't come with um, English subtitles on it. So what I did was I had to rip it from the DVD to my computer. Then I had to upload it to YouTube. It got blocked and everything, but... YouTube has a um, auto-generated subtitles that can be translated from any language to English. So I watched it that way. And I've heard mixed things about this movie. Some people say they really liked it. Some people said it was okay. Personally, I thought this was pretty good. So this movie didn't go crazy on like the killing scenes. Like a lot of um, Argento stuff is, you know, like kill after kill. Like Tenebrae, for example. This is not like Tenebrae Part 2 or nothing. It focused a lot more on the characters than a lot of his other movies. So you got a prostitute, a killer, and then a kid. And um, what happened was the killer was chasing the prostitute. She ran into... The kid's family's car killed or killed the kid's parents and now she's blind and she's kind of taking care of this kid. You know, off the top of my head, I can't remember any of the names in it, but the lead actress was really good in it. I thought she really carried the movie the best. Aja Argento is a supporting actress in this. She's cool in it. The kid was okay. The killer was okay. Um, it didn't focus so much on the killer. What this movie really kind of had going for it was a lot of car chase scenes. <laughs> there were some really cool car chase scenes in this movie. And you got a lot more stuff with, like, car chases and that kind of thing than any kind of, like, you know, like, razor blade to the throat kind of thing. There is a little bit of that in this, too, though. This movie starts off pretty cool, and then um, it kind of slows down a little bit in the middle. The middle is, like, where it gets a little bit problematic, but... um. It's, then it picks up again. You know, having her be blind really kind of added a whole new dimension to the movie. You really kind of feel bad for her for going blind and everything. And you feel bad for this kid for losing his parents. This is going to be kind of a short review because I don't want to spoil too much. So I'm actually a big fan of the movies that Argento has done in the 2000s. Um, but I would say this is even better than a lot of those. There's maybe like two or three from the 2000s that I still kind of like better than this one. But this was a good one. This is right up there. I probably would put this in my top 10 favorite Argento movies. To me, this was that good. I'm going to give this one 3.5 out of 5 stars. That's Dark Glasses, also known as Aki Elinari. All right, guys, it's Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dash. If you've seen Dark Glasses, let me know what you think of it. Let me know your favorite Argento film. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.